All right, hey everyone, it's Megan from the Lake Monsters Robotics team, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create one of our star light-up cards. So just as to overview what you should have received in your kits, in your kits you should have received a little diagram like this that shows the design as well as where to put our LED light and the battery. You also should have gotten a piece of cardstock as well as some pipe cleaners, um, a little coin cell battery that's kind of flat like this, and of course your ah, your little LED light right here. Please also make sure to have a pair of scissors as well as some scotch tape. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to have to do is strip the ends of this pipe cleaner. If you hold up the pipe cleaner really closely, you'll notice that there is a bunch of this fuzzy stuff on the outside. But then if you look a little closer, there's also this metal that's kind of twisted um, in the center of the pipe cleaner. So what we're going to want to do is remove and pull out all this extra stuff so we only get this metal in the middle. So I've already done that in advance with the pipe cleaners here. So I'm going to take this little piece to show you guys how to do that. So, actually this piece is a little bit uh, dark, so I'm going to use this piece right here. All right, so I'm gonna show you two methods to do this. First, you can use your scissors. Um, I am gonna warn you that this might get a little bit messy, so if you have an extra sheet of paper on hand, um, be sure to do it over that so it minimizes the cleanup. So you can take your scissors, and just angle it so that you cut out this extra material right here. And do the same thing a few times. So now we are left with the center piece of wire and just a tiny, tiny bit of fuzz right here. Now I'm gonna show you a second way to do this. I strongly recommend that you do the way I'm going to show you next because it does um, get a better connection and make it easier for the LED light to light up. So what you'll notice is that this center wire actually is two pieces that are kind of twisted around each other that hold all of this fuzzy stuff in place. So if we take our pipe cleaner and we just twist it, I'm gonna have to do it a few more times. Then you can easily just pull the fuzz out. So, a few twists. And just gently pull, and the fuzz should come out pretty easily. And voila, there we go. I'm going to retwist it in the opposite direction just to tighten it up and make sure none of the fuzz over in the middle gets out. So it should look something like this, where you have the fuzzy center and just the wire. Uh, please do be careful because this can be a little sharp. So if you have siblings, please don't run around uh, trying to poke them. That would not be cool. So there's just all the fuzz I pulled out. I'm just going to set that to the side. All right, so make sure you do this to both ends of your pipe cleaners. So they should all look like this end right here with the wire exposed like that. Now feel free to pause the video while you do it to the rest of your pipe cleaners. Um, since I have already done this in advance, you can see here that these two ends of my pipe cleaner have just the wire and if I turn it around, same thing, just the wire like that. Please be careful, um, they are a little pointy. All right, so once you have your pipe cleaner stripped so that only the wire is left, we are going to attach our LED. So first I'm gonna take this light and I'm just going to double check that the battery and the light are working. If you take a good look at the light, you'll see that one of these metal legs these little wires that stick out of it, one of them is shorter than the other one. So in this case, the right side is shorter 
than the left side. What this tells you is that the left side of the LED of this light is considered the negative side, whereas the longer leg is considered the positive side. This is important because if you look at your battery, one side will have a little plus sign on it. So that tells you that this side of the battery that's currently facing up is the positive side. And if we flip it over, that of course means that the other side has to be the negative side. Even though it's not written here, because I know one side is positive, I automatically know that the other side is negative. Now to get the light to light up, we need to connect the, the negative side of the light to the negative side of the battery and the positive side of the light to the positive side of the battery. So first I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna gently open these legs a little bit. I'm going to take the longer leg of my LED and I'm just going to touch it to the positively marked side of my battery. Pinch that in place. And on the other side, I'm just going to pinch it so that the shorter leg or the negative leg is also touching the battery. And voila, you can see that the light lights up. Now, just try this. If you flip the light around so that the short negative end is touching the positive side of the battery, and I pinch, you'll see that the light doesn't go on. So what this tells us is that the light has to be oriented in a particular way to in order for it to light up. And this will become important when we finish building our circuit later. I'm gonna set these down for a sec. And now we're going to get to the fun part, which is attach our pipe cleaners to our light and make our star shape. I'm just gonna pick up one of my pipe cleaners, make sure that this end is kind of straight. And I'm just going to gently make a V with the wire, the metal ends of my LED. Be very careful here not to accidentally break one of these. So now that I have these kind of apart, I am just going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm just going to gently wrap it around this part of the light. So I have like a little X shape that I'm making. I'm just gonna hold this in place. I'm just going to make some circles and wrap it around. Make sure that you get good contact between the wire of the pipe cleaner and the leg of the LED. So you can see here that they are really twisting around each other. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side of the LED, but I'm gonna take my second pipe cleaner and I'm gonna do the same thing I just did. I'm gonna make a, like a little X right here Okay, now you can see it. I'm gonna pinch it. I'm just gonna take this and gently wrap it around. Okay. Now if I just kind of gently pull on either of the pipe cleaners, they should not fall apart. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like now. You're gonna have your light on one end and your two pipe cleaners just kind of dangling like this. Now, just to double check that this is still working, we can actually take our battery and connect one wire, one pipe cleaner to one side. And I'm gonna take this second pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna touch it to the other side of the battery. So you can see here, one side is touching one and voila, our LED, our little light lights up. If it's not lighting up for you, try flipping the battery around. So I just flipped my battery around and it doesn't light up. But if I flip it over again, then it does light up. So make sure you have that direction correct. The reason why you need the battery to be a certain way is because the, elect the way the light lights up, the electricity basically goes from one side of this battery and it makes a big circle. It follows the wire that's inside of these pipe cleaners until it reaches the light. And then from there, once it passes through the light, it makes the light light up and then it goes all the way back around into the other side of the battery. Now, if the battery and the LED are flipped, then the electricity can't pass through the light. 
So then, of course, the light just doesn't light up. And that's why you want to have the two sides be the same. All right, now let's make these into the star shape. So this is where the printed diagram comes in really handy because now all I have to do is press my hand where the light is and now I can just bend my pipe cleaners following this pattern that's on the paper. So here's our first corner and I'm going to use one hand to hold the pipe cleaner down where I want to bend it. I'm just going to use my other hand to make a gentle bend. And now I'm going to use my other hand to hold it down. I'm just going to make a bend. Hold it down, make a bend. I'm just going to go all the way around until I get to where it's marked with the battery. So I'm going to stop here. So now we have basically one side of our star done. I'm going to flatten this out a little bit. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to hold it right here bend the pipe cleaner, hold it, bend, hold, and bend. And this side I'm gonna try to flatten it out a little bit. And here we have our star. You'll see here that both of our pipe cleaners are just a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna cut off the extra length of pipe cleaner. So I'm just gonna hold this down and where the pipe cleaner meets this circle that's labeled, it's a placeholder for where we're gonna put our battery. I'm just going to make a little snip, cut it off. Same thing with the other side where this pipe cleaner meets the circle. I'm gonna make a little snip. And there we go. Next step is to remove this extra material so that only the wire is showing, just like the first step that we did. So I'm going to, once again, twist the pipe cleaner and gently pull until it comes out. If it's not working for you for some reason, try twisting the pipe cleaner in the opposite direction or you might just have to keep twisting. So I'm gonna twist it in the other direction now to get it to tighten up. And if I go to the other side, the way I do it is if I'm holding it, I want to twist my right hand away from me and my left hand towards me. So I'm gonna do that together two times, gently pull and we can see some of it starting to come off. And there we go. Once again, I'm going to twist it in the other direction just so I don't have extra little bits falling off. Okay, so now both of our ends are completely free of the extra fuzzy material and they are a little pointy, so do be careful. If you want to minimize the point, you can just bend it backwards and kind of make a little oval almost. So you don't have to do this step, but if you have extra, um, if you have a very long pipe cleaner and you don't like the pointiness, then feel free to do so. so a little bend with my nail and push this pointy side back. All right. So now we basically have our star and the final, final step is to attach this to our card. So here's my sheet of cardstock. Um, first I'm gonna get these little extra shiny bits off. Of course, I'm gonna fold it in half. and flip it the way I want it to be. Now if I take my star 
and I place it the way I want it to be on the card. Straighten that leg a little bit. You can place it like this, or you can follow the diagram like this. So our battery is going to go where these two would meet. So um, if you don't like how it's bent, you can also redo a little bit of it so it's to the way you like it. So I'm okay with this side being a little funky because I think it's um, kind of cool and a little unique and it looks like this arm of the star is like kind of waving at you. All right, last part is just to attach this to the page. Now feel free to tape it however you like. You can move it so that the light is kind of on the side. You can make it kind of diagonal, um, but I want to go for just a classic sort of shape. So I'm going to take my first piece of tape and once I've decided where I like it, I'm just going to tape down the light first. So I'm going to put one piece of tape on this part. I'm going to use my nail to just press the tape into the paper. I'm going to do the same thing for each of these star's points. So on this side, I'm going to tape here. And something I like to do is use a second piece of tape to kind of go on top of the first piece, just so that I know my star is not going to come off the paper. And feel free to use as much or as little tape as you like. Just know that more tape means your star is less likely to come off. All right, so there is our star. The very last part is going to be to put the battery on. Now remember, when we put our battery on, we want one pipe cleaner to be touching one side and the other pipe cleaner to be touching the other side. So I'm gonna put my battery down. So one pipe cleaner is gonna be touching the paper, put the battery on top. I'm gonna put the other one on top of that. So you can see here that once I have that attached, my light is shining. Once again, note that if you put the battery on the wrong side up, like I just did now, the light won't light up. So if I flip it around, voila, it lights up. And once you have gotten it to light up, you can just take a piece of tape and tape the battery down. So right here. And It's a little tricky and right there and now we have just finished making our light up star card all right i hope you guys had a lot of fun making this card with me i hope you learned something about how circuits work how these little lights work with the wire in the pipe cleaner and the battery to light up um, and I hope you found this a very enjoyable um, video to watch and a fun project to make. If you really enjoyed this and want to learn more, um, please do um, follow and subscribe to the Like Monsters YouTube channel um, for future videos, um, tutorials, and fun activities just like this. Hope to see you guys in a future video.